بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم یا سیدی یا رسول اللہ مائی نیم از وکاس خان اینڈ آئی بلونگ ٹو اے ریموٹ ولیج آف کمر مشانی ڈسٹرکٹ میاں والی فرام پاکستان آل دو آئی ہیو نیور ریکارڈیڈ اینی ویڈیو میسیج فار دا سوشل میڈیا بٹ دس ٹائم آئی ہیو فاؤنڈ اے ریزن دیٹ واز ان ایوائڈیبل اینڈ آئی ایم ریکارڈنگ دس میسیج فار دا انٹرنیشنل پیس کیپنگ کمیونٹیز فار دا سولائزڈ اینڈ ایجوکیٹڈ پیپل آف فرانس اینڈ یورپ Ladies and gentlemen, it has been observed that for the last five to six years, the blasphemic incidents against our beloved Prophet are increasing rapidly. The last incident is the demonstration of an extremely irresponsible and the criminal behavior by the President of France. And Mr. Macron has done all this in the name of freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Ladies and gentlemen, just imagine that somebody comes in front of your house having a placard in his hand drawn with the funny cartoons and he tried to make mockery of some of your beloved relative maybe your mother, your father, your daughter or your wife or any of the beloved relative or start giving some uh, business statements to demean them so just imagine how would you be feeling obviously it's very hurting the same way once somebody comes and start giving the baseless statements about our beloved Prophet وسلم, or try to make mockery out of him by drawing funny cartoons so we being the Muslim love him more than anything else in the world so just imagine how would we be feeling trust me it's so hurting and so painful that you people cannot even imagine and I am sure that anybody who is trying to demean him he is unaware about his lifestyle and he is unaware about his services for the humanity and here I want to share few examples with you as a point to ponder so that you people should think that a person with such qualities and such services for the humanity on one side and on the other side uh, maybe a small group of people who are trying to demean him so what is the reason behind that and once you will carry out a rational analysis you yourself will come to know that maybe they are doing it for nothing more than the personal gains ladies and gentlemen before the birth of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam people in arab they used to bury their daughters alive and it was he who gave them the right to live he said that anybody out of you who would bring up two girls till their adulthood with dignity honor and respect I assure him that he will be close to me in the paradise like these two fingers. And at times you must have heard that uh, the slaves were not enjoying uh, better rights than the animals. Even animals, animals were enjoying better life than the slaves. And it was because of his teachings that uh, the second caliph Umar ta'ala, no, while he was entering the gates of the great city of Jerusalem as a conqueror at that time his slave was sitting at the back of his camel and the rope of that camel was in the hands of that caliph who was the king of the whole muslim world at that time the first ever welfare state of medina was also established by holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which all the minorities were having equal rights to live and worship freely and that too this all was being done under the protection by the muslims <coughs> It was because of his teachings that the poor and the rich, the strong and the weak, all were made equal in the eyes of the law and uh, independent judiciary was introduced. And because of this same independent judiciary, the fourth caliph Ali Razialahu Talano, he lost a case against a Jew who was part of minority living under his own rule. And Holy Prophet Wasallam was the one who taught the world forgiveness that what forgiveness is. His worst enemies who forced him to migrate from, the, from his beloved city of Makkah and migrate to Medina. Once he came back as conqueror in the same city of Makkah, so his level of forgiveness was that he forgave all of his enemies. And you can further uh, read about the details. <clears throat> he was the one who said that if you have killed one human being means that you have killed the whole mankind 
and you if you have saved the life of one human being means that you have saved the whole humanity muslims as they were the new emerging power on the face of this earth so they were pinching in the eyes of the previous superpowers and the previous superpowers wanted to eliminate them so for their personal safety and security muslims had to go for many battles but they were clearly instructed by holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that all the armies going for battle with the non muslims they were not allowed to harm any of the old citizen they were not allowed to harm women children and even they were not allowed to harm the crops of the enemies this was the level of his humanity and this was the level of his kindness and ladies and gentlemen there are lot of his teachings in every walk and sphere of life and this humanity will keep enjoying his favor till the end of this world there is a jewish writer his name is michael hart and he has written a book with the name 100 influential personalities of the world and you know he has placed uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the top among those 100 influential personalities and the reason behind this is his great services for the humanity and his own uh, very simple and exemplary lifestyle and i would request you to uh, that please before following pray to any of the propaganda uh, you should read about his lifestyle and you should read about his services for the humanity uh, if you have any problem in your life whether you know may it be your personal or may it be some social problem i request you to read about the guidance which he has given us uh, during our problems and i assure you that you will find the best way out in his teachings and once you will read about him you yourself will start loving him like we the muslims do and after reading him you yourself will be the one who will be opposing these blasphemous and the uh, propagandous criminals and in the end i would like to share a fact with you that uh, pew research center based in united states of america has uh, shared a study in which they said that islam is the fastest growing religion in the world and then they said that after 2060 islam would, would be the largest religion of the world and you know here i leave a question for you that uh, you people have to think that what are the reasons behind this that people from the world are converting to islam and why islam will become the largest religion of the world after 2060 there are two things in islam one is the uh, word of god holy quran that is narrated by holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and second thing is his way of life we call it sunna so i request you to please read both these and once you will read it i assure you that you will seek the light in your life I thank you all